watching Amazing Fire TV. Amazing Fire TV. Impacting the world for Christ. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Wherever you are, I want you to lift your voice and pray this prayer. 2023 is my mega season of mega favor. May 2023 surround me with the fullness of God's divine favor. In the name of Jesus, 2023, I command all the seconds, all the minutes, all the hours, all the days, all the weeks, all the months, all the quarter, all the year from January to December of 2023. May you be a season of favor for me. May the mega favor of the Lord go out with me and come in with me. May it be well with me. May favor surround me like a cloud. May favor, I breathe in favor, I breathe out favor. I step upon the foundation of favor. Favor of the Lord, show me kindness this year. May favor direct me. May favor deploy the heritage of heaven into my destiny in the name of Jesus. Amen. Child of God, I want to thank you one more time for joining us in this broadcast of today, the day of the Lord. We appreciate you. On this day 49, we want to bless God for passing through you and passing through us to be a covenant instrument in the hands of God. Uh, having said thus, it is important we remember and remind ourselves of the four major issues that God had spoken into our half and we are going to be dealing with all those issues one of them is god told us that this year 2023 is our year of favor flavor fruitfulness and also flourishing so we want to take the first favor we want to take the first favor we want to see what happens when the favor of the Lord locates a man. When the favor of God, how, how does it work? Where does it work? What is the result of favor? The favor of God coming upon a man or the destiny of a man. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your word. As we come into your word, May your word bring us to the platform of illumination, divine illumination, to the glory and to the exaltation of your name. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We saw in the book of Genesis, before we come into our main scripture of Psalm 90 verse 17, we remember that in the book of Genesis, the earth had to circumvent all the processes of fruitfulness. The earth never needed to till the ground. The earth never needed to water the ground. The earth never needed to fertilize. The earth never needed to plant seed. The earth never needed to weed the ground. The earth never needed to water or for sprinklers to do the work. The Bible just told us that by the word of God's favor on the earth, that the earth accepted before we knew what was happening, we saw the earth produce fruitfulness and flourishing and a new flavor of the earth was seen manifesting. So, so that is exactly what we call favor. Where God, the hand of God, will go ahead of you to make sure that even though your input is small, he takes that little seed of your input, your innovation, and by its own capacity, multiply the 
effort of humanity by the capacity of divinity so as to rest in the hand of humanity the result of divinity i repeat favor for me is god taking the effort of humanity and multiplying it by the capacity and potentiality of divinity and turning it into a fruit in the hand of humanity for a manifestivity so that means when man puts in a faith when man puts in effort there are two type of men every year we have these two type of men men that believe in their effort and men that believe that their effort plus the effort of god's favor will bring them success so when a man hands over his effort in the arms of the lord that carries favor what it does is that the hand of god takes over the productivity quotient of that man multiply it with the capacity of divinity so as to give divinity the result of divinity but in the hands of humanity so what we are trying to say can be elucidated in this scripture in the book of psalm 90 verse 17 psalm 90 verse 17 in the book of psalm 90 verse 17 we saw the expression of this scripture in genesis chapter 1 let me read he said may the favor of the lord our god rest upon us i pray for somebody hearing me and listening to me today that no matter what you are going to no matter the level of your low productivity quotient i declare by the mandate of the holy spirit that in this year 2023 may the favor of the lord our god rest upon you may the favor of our lord our god rest upon your family may it rest upon your children your business every of your expectation may the favor of the lord rest upon every second of our life in this year may we not walk alone may god grant us the favors of heaven in the name of the lord jesus amen that is prayer number one and i would want you to please keep prophesying these prayers over your head over your children over your business over everything you lay your hands to do now what happens when the favor of the lord our god rests upon us hello somebody what happens it is important you understand what happens to a man what happens to a woman what happens to a boy when the favor of our lord our god rest upon you child of god when the favor of the lord our god rest upon us it's not just resting upon us but it's resting upon our expectations our effort our actions and everything that we sow into everything we do that is why if you notice in the next phrase he said what the power of god will do is that it will take over your effort and your action and begin to establish the work of our hands for us oh you didn't hear that uh, let me break it down see when you use your own eyes your nose your mouth your hand and your leg and your thoughts to bring an effort god is saying as you give me your effort from your own brain my own brain will take over it hallelujah hallelujah when, when you give me the effort from your eyes my eyes will take over it when you give me 
the effort from your mouth in form of prayer and prophecy, my mouth will take over it. When you release it from your hands into my hands, my hands will take over it. When you release, take off your leg to walk the walk and hand it over to me, I will now take over your thoughts, your expectation, your imagination. I will now bring it to the drawing board of heaven. I will now begin to work it out in accordance to my own capacity, my own temerity, my own potentiality, my own expectation, my own thought. Your thoughts are not my thoughts. Your thoughts may be limited. My thoughts are unlimited. Your ways are limited. My ways are not limited. Your resources are limited. But my own resources are unlimited. My capacity is not limited. Yours can be limited. Your sight is limited. Your smell is limited. Your imagination is limited. Your thoughts are limited. But mine as God is unlimited. So the favor of God is a man handing over his diligent action in the hands of from humanity to divinity and divinity brings all his capacity into bear into existence heaven takes over the activity of earth so that earth will be able to enjoy the result heaven can give to a man that is why that place said to establish for us. He will not take the result. He will establish those things and give it back to us. Oh, glory be to God. I, I want you to imagine how this year will look like when the favor of God rests upon your visions. All the finances that is needed, all the connection, all the human resources, all the brain, all the project managers, God has them in his hands. So the best way for you to come to the point of fulfillment in 2023 is for the hands of God, the hand of God to rest upon you and your life and destiny with the hand of favor. So that when it does, God will over your diligent effort, God will take over your capacity and bring to bear his establishment. That means it all started with your action, but it is ending with God's manifestation in your hand. Now, let's round up as we see the end of that scripture. The Bible now said in that same Psalm 90 verse 17. It said yes. Now the word yes there talks about truly. For sure. Establish the work of a. You know God is saying the best way for your activities to be established. The surest way is for the favor of God to rest upon you. Wherever you are, lift up your hands to heaven as I pray for you. And you can also prophesy over yourself. Say after me, in the name of Jesus, I declare and decree, let the favor of God Almighty rest upon me. Rest upon my children. Rest upon my going out. Everything I lay my hands to do in 2023. Holy Ghost, let the hand of your favor lead me, help me, execute it, take over, and grant me a mighty productivity that will shock humanity in my generation. Thank you, Father. If you are not yet born again, it is important to know 
that no enemy of God can get favor from God. So wherever you are, if you want God to establish your act, your actions with the capacity of heaven via the link of favor, I want you to open your mouth and declare that Lord Jesus, I, I accept the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross of Calvary. Have mercy upon me. Delete my name by the blood of Jesus from the book of death. Write my name with the ink of the blood of Jesus in the book of life. Thank you, Father, for saving me. Help me to continually live a victorious Christian life in Christ Jesus. My friend, if you have done that, I want you to know that you have received Jesus into your heart. Call the number that is at the base of your screen. And every encouragement that is needed to make you walk aright with God. By God's grace, we shall grant unto you. And we shall keep on praying for you that this year, the mega favor of the Lord will rest upon your household and your life. In Jesus' matchless name, this prayer is answered. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for listening. And join us tomorrow for the continuation of this 60 days prayer. Prayer quick summit. God bless you and I love you all. You are now watching a